you know, Neil Young, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Uh, Neil Young uh, has an open letter to Donald Trump. You may have seen this. If you didn't, allow me to share it with you. He doesn't start out with a salutation, just starts out this way. You are a disgrace to my country. Bragging about the U.S. economy does not disguise the fact that the numbers today are what you inherited almost four years ago. Your mindless destruction of our shared natural resources, our environment, and our relationships with friends around the world is unforgivable. Your policies, decisions, and short-term thinking continues to exacerbate the climate crisis. Our first black president was a better man than you are. Let me pause a minute. That sounds faintly racist, doesn't it? Just, just, just a little bit? Eh? Our first black president was better than you are. <laughs> But let me continue. The United States of America, my country, is not agreeing on one of your branded golf courses. Oh, I see. It's not agreeing on one of your branded golf courses that you can ride around on and damage so that other players cannot shoot straight. Keep on rocking in the free world is not a song you can trot out at your rallies. Perhaps you could have been a bass player and played in a rock and roll band. That way you could be on stage at a rally every night in front of your fans, if you're any good, and you might be. <laughs> every time Keep on rocking in the free world or one of my songs is played at your rallies, I hope you hear my voice. Remember, it is the voice of a tax-paying U.S. citizen who does not support you, me. I don't blame the people who voted for you. I support their right to express themselves, although they may have, although they have been lied to, and in many cases believed the lies, they are true Americans. I have their back. U.S. justice is ours, not yours. One of your opponents has the answers I like. He is aiming at preserving our children's future directly. He is not popular with the Democratic establishment because unlike all the other candidates, he is not pandering to the industry's accelerating Earth's climate disaster, the end of the world as we know it. He is truly fighting for the USA. His initials are BS, not his policies. We are going to vote you out and make America great again. Neil, Neil, Neil. Um, <laughs> um, just a friendly suggestion. You know, maybe you should stick to music. Mm. <laughs> I, I wouldn't I wouldn't try shit like this. I mean, not really. Neil Young. Mm. Our first black president was a better man than you are. Woo! Keep on rocking in the free world, Neil. Damn. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. You have your choice. You can listen to the ranting with the audio podcast or listen and watch me lose control with a video podcast subscription. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, 
you can get a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.